Yeah, what, what's up, guys? This is Thrill Billy back with a brand new video. I uh, bet y'all are wanting an update on the Blazer. I know I first time I told y'all about it, and uh, well, motor started knocking. Before I, whenever I cut the exhaust off, it was before I cut the exhaust off. You could actually, it was lightly knocking and you would almost thought it was the exhaust hitting metal down there but no I'd crank it up for you but just not really the time to be doing that kind of stuff but also an update I am getting a 350 small block Chevy motor for this thing in replacement of the V6 that I had in it, the Vortec V6, I'm getting a 5.7 small block. And I might be getting a racing transmission. So, might replace that old antenna right there and just get me one of them uh, ones that look like bullets and maybe just do a full paint job on this thing. But, um,. Mm, blazer not been doing very good and I'm gonna pull the motor sometime in the coming up weeks I'll do a video on that but um y'all wanna hear it I honestly don't think I should cut this thing on but yeah, I don't think I should cut this thing on. I'm not going to. Um, I would, if I had a video, I'd add it in to this video. But I don't have a video of it knocking. So, next couple of weeks, I'll probably have me a small block Chevy in this. And, I'm gonna scrap the motor and I'm gonna scrap the transmission, but I'm gonna sell the new alternator I put on this thing. I'm gonna keep all the battery cables, of course, so I can hook it up to that 350 motor and be driving again with this thing. So, um, we were planning on taking insurance and tags off of it, but now we're not going to because soon I'll have this thing fixed back up and be driving back and forth to work and school <clears throat> but uh yeah I might have me a racing transmission and this thing's gonna be a beast once I get done with it and I'm and another thing I'm gonna do to this I'm gonna put a lift on it finally and I might take this stupid freaking I might take this daggum spooler off and just replace these with other types of holds and it's for this back glass but <clears throat> yeah blazer not doing very good some of y'all who go to school with me notice that it's not out at the schoolhouse that's the reason why I know some of y'all do, but um, y'all probably heard a little bit of a ticking sound whenever I first posted a video of it. My Uncle Phil said that the plate on the front of the truck was one of the problems. I, I told him, nah, <clears throat> it's just the truth says we don't give a dang about how you did it up north Oak Island, North Carolina it has a confederate flag but this thing will be getting back out on the road soon and maybe I might straight pipe it I'm saying that I'm getting a 350 350 sounds better I'd rather have a 350 than this old 292 V6 
Not saying that I don't like the 292, but I just think this thing's too slow. It tops out at 85 miles per hour, and I've had it up there. But maybe once I get this uh, 350 in here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap the old motor and scrap the transmission, sell the uh, alternator that I bought for it, and I'm going to uh, pay the man for the motor and the transmission. And I'm going to switch dashes out on this thing. I'm going to have it to where it says 110 instead of 85. 85's too slow for me. Probably not. Probably I shouldn't even be driving too fast. But, uh, yeah. POS. Look like everything else a freaking ball. I mean, what do you expect? I bought this thing for $500. This thing don't even sit up there properly. I already had to replace the alt battery, replace the battery cables. But, uh, yeah, I'm just... <clears throat> out of date 292 transmission I mean not transmission but motor freaking got mixed up in my words sorry y'all guys um also um whenever I went to the uh, to the auto shop yesterday they told me that one of my pulleys was warped and uh I also got told that my apparently exhaust that I put on here was the problem but the guy at the shop told me that the reason that it's knocking now is because somebody didn't fill it up with oil let it run out of oil and never filled it back up and it caused scarring and it just finally wore out which is causing knocking and so I believe what happened It sounds worse whenever I rev the motor up, so I'm not going to be driving it here soon. I'm not going to be driving it around a lot lately. When it, until, not until I get my new motor. But uh, I watched this video. Somebody had a uh, blazer just like mine. Um, they took their old V6 out because it was a POS is what they said. I mean, it was a piece of junk is what they said. And uh, they just took that old 292 out and put it a 350 small block Chevy motor in it so I know it'll fit and I already get, know and I already know somebody who will help me pull the motor that's in this thing and yeah I done told my bud one of my buddies about it and I won't be driving it back and forth until I get a new motor for it Whenever I get a new motor, I'll start driving it again. And... But y'all be getting some updates soon on this thing. Very soon. Well, all right. I'll let y'all go. All right. Talk to you later.